Hi, it's Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style coming to answer your colour and style questions. I don't have a sense of what looks good on me. I also have sensory sensitivities, particularly to the feel of fabric and tightness. I've been studying colour theory and personality style. My biggest issues are trying to put all of this together while still having functional, practical and comfortable style for my lifestyle, which relies on layers and outfits suitable for a casual, outdoorsy lifestyle. Well, one of the great things about your lifestyle is it's not like you need to be wearing particularly formal clothing, which tends to be more consistent restrictive or more woven less stretch. It means that everything you wear can have some stretch or looseness to it which is going to add that comfort to you. I would suggest a knowing which fabrics are, are okay with your sensory sensitivity. So it might be that you say I'm okay to wear cotton and bamboo and you know like whatever list of fabrics you have that work for you and then just go if it's got there might be some fibers that you find kind of irritate your skin and knowing that when you're looking at clothes you absolutely steer away from those ones. Then I would suggest that as you kind of go about your day at the end of each day just have a little mental note about how you felt in your outfit often we just don't take the time to do this so have we noticed if we've been tugging on or pulling at our clothes have we noticed if something's riding up or swishing around and that's kind of annoyed us because those things can tell us something about either the style of clothing uh, or that just particular garment maybe that there's something about that that annoys you that you can go maybe this thing has to go it's not working for me or maybe I need an alteration or something or other that's going to make the garment work better for me. And then as far as, so knowing the kind of sensory aspects I think is really important. And then it's a matter of getting those sorts of clothes in the right sort of colours, understanding that personality element, which you say you've been studying. So understanding that maybe you've got a relaxed sort of lifestyle, uh, what actually works for you, what kind of details, what kind of other aspects work for you. Because without knowing your personality, I can't give you any tips. But it is kind of this, it's layering those different elements of style up to figure out what it is that it is working for you and what doesn't work for you. Often the more we can become a bit more conscious about what doesn't work and what does work, then we can start applying that to our style in a more conscious way that allows you to actually go, well, I like this style and I like my personality likes these details, my color, you know, coloring requires these sorts of colors. And then we can just start to put it together and we can start looking for the pieces that you know will work for you and all your kind of the activities and also your sensory sensitivities. It is a process and don't assume that you will learn style overnight. Style is really quite a complex science. It takes some time, takes some education um, and it takes some practice. And now you're going to practice every day because you have to get dressed. But if you do that in a little bit more conscious way and at the end of the day, just notice how you are feeling in those clothes then that can also be really helpful. And of course, taking your outfit photos as well, that's going to help you start to hone your eye to see what is working and what isn't working. When you compare the photos, you know, get a week's worth of outfit photos and compare them to each other. You'll also start to see which shapes and styles work for you and the colors and the contrast and all those things as well. But that also does take time and practice. Uh, and I know that all the, the, the wonderful women in my Seven Steps of Style program and my Evolve Your Style program will say like, you know, the great feedback too that they get really helps them to understand how they can improve no matter what their style is. So there's no one right way. You've got to work out what works for you and what makes you feel comfortable, happy and stylish. So thank you for your questions. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now.